This is a day in the life in a Japanese auto repair shop. This is Irina. She's 30 years old and works at a car repair shop in Toyota, Japan. And she's just waking up for work. She lives with her parents in this two-story house, which is very common in Japan, even outside of the city. You don't take a shower in the morning? She says she prefers to take baths at night instead. Very common in Japan. How long does it take to wear makeup? For breakfast, her mom makes her an onigiri, which she packs with her mugicha. Oh yeah, and she snags her favorite morning drink, soy milk tea. <laughs> Unlike major cities like Tokyo, Edina commutes to work by car. She rents a parking space from her neighbor nearby since the two lots at her house are full. Oh yeah, and I keep saying Toyota. And you might be wondering, well, the answer is yeah. The city was named after the car manufacturer as Toyota is located here. Fun fact, 85% of the population in Toyota works in the car industry. And Aichi Prefecture, where Toyota is located, has more registered cars than anywhere in Japan. Oh and look, she's watching the morning TV news on her navigation screen. So her commute time is about 15 to 20 minutes without traffic, which is pretty normal here. And it definitely beats the average one hour long Tokyo shoulder to shoulder train commute. <laughs> oh wow, did you hear the anime voice? That's your co-worker activating his car security system. Oh wow, just in time! So what the mechanics are doing right now is called Radio Taiso, which translates to Radio Exercises. It's a warm-up calisthenics performed to music and guidance from a radio broadcast. The mechanics here do it every morning before they start work. In fact, it's an old Japanese tradition dating back to 1928. Not all Japanese companies do it these days, but many still carry on their tradition. Oh, and the mechanics follow up the morning exercises with Chore, a morning company meeting to review with each other what work needs to be done for the day. Erina works for a company called Aiho Denki, an auto repair company employing about 30 staff, mainly mechanics. Like most people, Erina works Monday through Friday, but she's also required to work every other Saturday. When Erina arrives to work every day, she has to stamp an attendance book. Pretty old school, right? I think the mechanics are still discussing today's tasks. So, how do you start your day? Many smaller Japanese companies don't hire daily cleaning services but instead rely on workers to clean the office. It's supposed to promote selflessness and community. What do you guys think? Nice, now the shop is clean as a carburetor. She can finally get back to her desk and work on accounting tasks. Her Japanese title is Kiri Jimu, which means both office accountant and office administrator. I don't know if this is common in other countries, but let's just say she has a expansive role in the office. Are you usually by yourself in the office? So it looks like one of them is cleaning a different part of the office, and the other one is picking up a mechanic at a customer's site. Hmm, that guy gave her something. What is that? So fax machines are still alive and well in most Japanese companies. In fact, if you ever receive a Japanese business card, you'll notice that most respectable companies still have a fax number listed. Hey, did you notice how she waited a long time to hang up the phone after talking? That's because hanging up the phone before the client is considered immensely rude in Japanese business culture. I guess she's busy doing her morning desk work, so let's go see what's under the hood of this shop. So the weather itself has kind of taken a turn for the worse. It's really raining outside. So I'm just going to kind of uh, see what they're fixing today. What are you guys fixing right now? Oh, got it. That's a replacement AC evaporator for the car. Can you tell me what this is? Oh, basically it says which mechanic has to do what for the day. 
So if you look right behind me, you'll actually see a little shrine. And you'll find this very common in Japanese houses as well as Japanese businesses. They're known as a sense of good luck for the business. There's actually kind of like a feng shui to it where it always needs to face the same direction. What's actually quite interesting are these magnetic stickers. These stickers are used as indicators for when someone's a new driver. Basically, you attach the magnetic sticker to the front and the back of your car. In fact, in my case, I don't drive so much in Tokyo or in Japan for that matter. So every time I drive, I prefer to actually have one of these stickers on the car. So right now, she's gluing down special receipts called Ryo Shusho for record keeping. These official receipts are used to track expenses in Japan and they're quite magical as only the total amount of the expense is listed and the individual items disappear. Rina, are you going somewhere? So ordering and picking up bento lunches for everyone is another one of our daily tasks. But damn, it's a pain when it's raining like today, especially for filming. <laughs> oh, I guess a quick smoke to help her along to the next task. It's also part of our job to prepare tea for everyone before lunch, even though everyone can buy their own drinks from a vending machine. See, traditional Japanese business culture is still very apparent in this company, as group needs are placed above the individual. Oh, that's thoughtful over. Apparently when it's hot outside, she makes barley tea instead. She changes depending on the weather. This is the break room, and she's now setting things up for everyone. How nice of her! So how much is one bento? Wow, about $4.50. She further explains that the company subsidizes the bento so it only costs 350 yen, about $3.20. Wait, you're not eating with everyone else? <laughs> Thanks to Arina's hard work, the mechanics can have a pleasant lunch break. So the bento menu is always the same? Hmm, okay. I guess I'm gonna explore more. At least the rain has let up a little bit. It's still a bit cloudy, but it was a lot better than earlier. Check out this car behind me. It's kind of like a three-wheeled little buggy. It has one wheel in the front and it has two wheels in the back and it has kind of like a truck bed. And in fact, I've never actually seen one of these in my life. And the door opens up from the front right here. You can see that it has even red seats. Oops, I just caught her during her lunchtime nap. Let's turn off the camera and come back a little bit later. After a nice lunch nap, Irina has to clean up the break room. So it looks like we're going on a delivery run to drop off some parts for a customer. <laughs> Why did you choose this job? What's your favorite car? So they're off delivering the packages right now to the client and they should be back in a little bit. It took about, I don't know, like maybe 15, 20 minutes to drive here. Oh, they're back. That was quick. While well, Irina's finishing the rest of her job this afternoon, it's a bit quiet, so let's play some Inspector Gadget and look around this place. So these two young mechanics are new hires. Let's see what they're up to. Hey, what are you guys doing? So basically they're removing the black glue from the blocks so they can reuse them for insulations. So what's up with this Porsche? Oh, 
I guess AC repairs are in high demand before the summer. Edina, what are you doing right now? Traditional Japanese companies are still very much paper based, so Edina has to prepare the monthly payment slips for each employee. Her second smoke break of the day. At least this time she has a break buddy. So he's telling me that his work officially starts at 9am every day, but he has to arrive even earlier for the exercises and the morning meeting. Damn, it really takes a dedicated mindset to work in a Japanese company. Exchanging business cards when you first meet someone is still very much an important part of Japanese business culture. The cards though start to pile up so she has to organize them for the CEO. Now she's picking up parts from the storage room for the mechanics. She really does everything in the office. So it's half past 5 and one of her final duties is to empty out the trash bins throughout the office. Oh look, it's a talking anime car. I didn't get a chance to show you guys earlier. What do you think? Alright, end of the day. Time to count the money. So Japanese money is made with thick paper, so it allows them to count it like this. It's quite different when compared to America. I wonder if any other countries count it this way. Nice! Finished just after 6. I've noticed more and more companies in Japan adopting standard working hours for their employees. But don't get me wrong, many Japanese companies still have crazy long work hours. It seems like a dog Koko-chan missed her too. At the end of the day, her mom usually prepares a meal if she doesn't have plans with her friends. And look, she's serving hamburger tonight. I think it's a great way to end the day. But what did you think about her day? <laughs> As you can see, right after dinner, they're just hanging out, watching TV. And this is like basically a day in the life working at an auto repair shop. And if you guys want to help support the channel, then definitely check out the Tokyo merch. And if you want to see more videos in this day in the life series, then I'm coming out with so much more. So definitely hit that subscribe button and the bell button. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.